A million dollar home on Altona's waterfront has been trashed by a group of senseless vandals. It's believed about $150,000 damage was caused after the house was rented out for a party. It's advertised on Airbnb as a luxury beachfront home, but this is what it now looks like after an out of control party. The damage inside the house is incredible. Uh, uh, the house is a write-off. There's not a room and not a place in the house that isn't destroyed, including the garage. Absolutely senseless and useless um, vandalism. Absolutely without, a, without any need. Up to 70 youths of African appearance descended on the million dollar property on Saturday afternoon, with violence erupting overnight. Police were called to the property on three separate occasions, with residents saying fights were spilling out onto the street. The police came past here two or three times through the night, but they didn't go inside, they just pulled up outside. You can't blame the police, they, they didn't have a chance in the world. Some of the residents here say that they initially came outside and tried to confront the youths, but they were outnumbered and afraid, so quickly retreated inside. Police are still searching for the people involved and want anyone with information to come forward. They're also warning other Airbnb hosts to be wary of vandals. Do some checks on who, who you're renting or who's making the booking um, Yeah, to rent your property out. Estelle Greepink, 7 News. Live from Canberra. A million dollar beachfront property was trashed and vandalised when a weekend party spiralled out of control. Terrified neighbours have told Neary Tai they want to move out after dozens of youths took over their street. This is what's left of a million dollar beachfront property. Smashed up walls, broken glass and a tomato sauce stained bed. The house is a write off. Like a war zone, like it, it, looked, it looked as though the, the walls had been shot at. The Altona townhouse was being rented for a party over the weekend when things spiralled out of control. I picked up packets of drugs, empty packets of drugs off my front lawn. Up to 80 youths described as African in appearance converged on the three bedroom holiday home, trashing it beyond recognition. It's just not human. How could you sit there and completely destroy a house? While the rampage lasted most of Saturday night, there were also brawls along the esplanade. Petrified neighbours called police at least three times. Each time the police came, stayed a few minutes and left. Uh, from my understanding, they were heavily outnumbered. Neighbours believe most of the destruction was done between 5.30 and 7.30 on Sunday morning before the party goers spilled out to the train station. It's understood the damage bill inside the property is more than $150,000. The home is advertised on Booking.com and Airbnb, charging around $500 per night. While the owners are too devastated to speak on camera, detectives are still looking at who hosted the party. Just a warning that when you're renting out, your uh, property to people. Uh, try and obviously do some checks. I'm almost thinking of selling out. You know, what, what more can you do? Neary Tai, Nine News.